Morgan Wallen once again finds himself in some hot water. The country superstar had to cancel his concert in Oxford, Mississippi Sunday night, and that led to a lawsuit, online rumors of a drinking problem, and more shows to be rescheduled. Watch this video to see how it all went down. Before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and give it a thumbs up to keep up with all future country music news. Wallen was slated to perform back-to-back -back nights at the Ole Miss football stadium in Oxford, Mississippi last weekend. Wallen, as well as opening acts, Hardy, Ernest, and Nate Smith all posted about the concert from Saturday night, night one, which had electrified tens of thousands of fans for night two. While he was set for a second night on Sunday, all three opening acts had taken the stage to perform without a hiccup. Just minutes before Wallen was supposed to step on stage, a big message showed up on the screen to inform the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, Morgan has lost his voice and is unable to perform tonight. Therefore, tonight's show has been canceled. Please make your way safely to the stadium's exits. Refunds for tonight's event will be available at the point of purchase. Fans were upset that Wallen announced the news on social media before announcing it to the stadium. People in the crowd felt like Wallen must have known he had lost his voice before they were even allowed to enter the stadium, many of them taking to social media platforms like TikTok and Twitter to share their frustrations. Young boy, Who would do this? Now. Like, we We're literally drove 11 hours to see this. 11 hours. Thank you, Morgan Wallen. I was a major fan, and it's now I will so never f***ing hear your music again. Oh, again. No, we literally have to leave. We drove 11 hours for this guy. I can't get over it. And I spent like $100 on drinks. Oh, is this actually real? Please. Dude, we better be reimbursed for everything. This is stupid as shit I've ever seen. Wallen later posted to his Instagram story that he was under doctor's orders, promising that he quote unquote tried everything he could. Wallen's next tour stop was set in Grand Rapids, Michigan on April 27th, but he has rescheduled all of this week's shows due to doctor ordered vocal rest as per his Instagram story. This announcement comes after the news dropped that a concert goer was filing a lawsuit against Wallen for his decision to cancel his show in Oxford, Mississippi so last minute. The suit alleges breach of contract by Wallen and negligence for not canceling the show in a timely manner in order to mitigate any damages incurred by his patrons. Fans of Wallen seem torn. While most of them are defending his decision to reschedule the shows and prioritize his health, others agree that it was unfair to cancel the shows so last minute and leave all of his fans in Oxford, Mississippi out waiting in the cold. Videos from Wallen's show in Milwaukee prove he was starting to lose his voice during his live show the week before Ole Miss. And fans know that Wallen has been performing nonstop since his album dropped. But rumors and speculation that he was too drunk to perform started to gain more attention after a video surfaced on social media of a security guard at the stadium in Mississippi saying that Wallen did not cancel due to a vocal problem, but that he was too drunk backstage and had to leave in an ambulance. The original video has been deleted and Best Crowd Management, the security guard company hired to work the Morgan Wallen show, issued a statement saying, A hired employee of Best Crowd Management made false claims as it related to last night's Morgan Wallen concert, and we do not stand behind the detail in his statement. Please refer to Morgan's social media pages for details. Ultimately, refuting the claim by the security guard that Morgan Wallen was too drunk to perform. So, what do you think about Morgan's decision to cancel his shows? Let us know in the comments. We'll keep an eye on the story and report back with any updates. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more country music news and updates.